Hey guys, Michael here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, jailbreak your iPhone 3G. And these steps can also be used to jailbreak your original iPod, your original iPhone, or the iPod Touch. Um, so first, what you want to go to, want to do is go to blog.iphone-dev.org, and the application we're going to be using today is called QuickPone, and this is 2.1. And it supports the uh, firmware unlocking, or this this 2.1 firmware supports the unlocking and jailbreaking of first gen iPhones, the uh, jailbreaking of iPod Touch first generations, and the 3G iPhones. Um, it does not support unlocking of the 3G iPhone or jailbreaking of the second gen iPod Touch. Um, as of now, you also need to be upgraded to 2.1 and using on the devices and using iTunes 8. And um, this you're going to need to again is available from blog.iphone-dev.org and it's available in the Mac and now the Windows variety and in this case you're going to have to download the torrent file because the um, iPhone dev team put it up as a torrent um, tracker because it's less strenuous on their server so if you don't know how to use that there's a video up at youtube.com slash the revived one to help you with that so you want to have your iPhone attached to your computer and then you want to install and launch QuickPone so here's what QuickPone looks like and it says this software is not for commercial use if you have bought the software demand a refund blah 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 we'll just press OK please connect to your device while automatically test it and then we'll move to the next step OK so it has found that this is an iPhone 3G now it's asking me would I like to replace the original boot and restore logos on your iPhone 3G and I'm just gonna choose yes so now it's building the uh, custom firmware the IPSW now QuickPone is just asking me to enter in my password so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in so now it's giving me the steps and um, you're gonna need to turn off your device and then this screen is gonna show you how to modify the software so first I'm going to just turn off my device here. Okay. So we'll hold down the button. We'll turn it off. Prepare to press both buttons. So now it's basically sending the custom firmware and it's putting it onto my phone. And um, again, this will work on an iPhone 3G, an iPhone 2G, I guess, the second or the uh, Edge ver variety, but I guess the original, you could also say, or the first generation iPod Touch device. And you can see that it is working because of the pineapple. Now uh, this thing comes up, QuickPone is modifying your device. This process will allow custom firmware and other cool tweaks to be performed in the future. This process may take a while and the iPhone 3G will reboot itself. Do not do anything until the reboot has happened. Now also, before I click yes, um, keep in mind if iTunes pops up saying that your iPhone or whatever device you're using isn't configured correctly or it's entered uh, a particular mode or whatever, just ignore iTunes. Um, don't try to stop it or stop quick phone because then you could actually brick your phone or whatever so just let it do everything it needs to do after it's done flashing it'll say the device needs to be rebooted and it'll shut it down and you'll see the pineapple once more alright so you may uh, once you're done once it's done rebooting you may have uh, some things pop up in iTunes and you may have to you know recover some of your information like your contacts or whatever basically just sync it back up with your computer again but after that your iPhone should be perfectly fine and you should have the installer and Cydia applications and that's pretty much the whole reason why you'd want to jailbreak your phone to get those two things to install third-party applications that you can't find in the App Store so this is the quick free way to get more functionality out of your iPhone or iPod touch using QuickPone which you can get from the uh, iPhone dev team. Anyway, uh, for more information, go to youtube.com slash the revived one, and feel free to ask a comment or question, and also check out my blog at michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching, and 
enjoy the uh, jailbreak.